Who would have thought we'd be this excited about a new Hyundai van? Now notice I didn't say Star X, I just said Hyundai van because this is the first ever Hyundai Staria. Well, let's be honest here, there's a lot of design limitations when it comes to vans, but that didn't stop Hyundai from coming up something that will grab your attention. I mean, just look at this LED strip right here. And don't worry, that's not the headlights. These are actually the headlights. And if you look at the shape of it, it looks very, well, much like a rocket. It's very futuristic, aided by those huge windows that make it look even longer than it really is. And then if you go further back, you're gonna see that shape. It's very aero looking. And further back even, you're gonna see those tall vertical taillights grabbing even more attention. So inside the new Staria, those big windows have a wonderful effect. I mean, just look at this. It's like I am looking out through, well, a hotel window. And the low belt line makes it feel like a more natural position when I rest my arm on top of the door. Not only that, I can literally lord over people with a seat height adjuster. And with the height I'm going right now, well, I feel like I'm lording over everyone. Now for the rest of the front part of the interior, this is a van after all, so you've got cubby spaces, cubby holes everywhere. You got one right in front of you. You got one right behind the center screen. Of course, you have your glove box down here. You also have a neat little slot here. And it's pretty neat too that they integrated the cup holder right on top of the dashboard. That's pretty smart. And it doesn't stop there because you have one, two, three, four, four cubby spaces on the front doors. So you got eight cubby spaces right on the front doors alone. Talk about practicality. Havana's futuristic looking on the outside should have the toys to come with it on the inside and there's no shortage of that in the new Staria. So you got a digital instrument cluster. You also got finally a touchscreen standard in the Staria and you even get a 360 degree view camera to go along with it. And you're gonna need it because this is such a massive vehicle. And how's this for a neat little detail? The recirculate button is in the shape of a mini Staria. Who would have thought a van would be this tech loaded? Of course, the highlight in any van is the passenger area. And it's nice that they have a handle here so you can get in easier. But anyway, now you might think, oh, that's not a lot of space here, but don't fret because you can slide these seats forward and back and you can slide them as far back as it's physically possible. And not only that, you get two more extra rows behind this second row, giving you a total of four rows. My personal favorite area would be the third row because it's got a pair of captain's chairs. So it would be nice if you could take out these seats, keep those captain's chairs and just stretch out all you want. And finally, you get USB ports here at the back of a van. How cool is that? And here's another thing. Hyundai cap the pop-out window here in the Staria, just like the Star X from before it. Plus, you even get these privacy blinds to let all the sunlight or the paparazzi out of view. See what I mean by this imposing rear end? But anyway, since we're on the subject of vans, let's talk cargo space. On first impressions, it doesn't look like it has a lot, but here's the thing. Those long seat rails extend all the way to the second row. And to adjust it, just pull this and push the seat. Now you can push this seat as far forward as you want to or as far forward as those other rows can go, making this an effective cargo van as well. And if that's not enough, there's even a cargo variant without the seats at the back at all. So there you have it folks, our first look at the first ever Hyundai Staria. Now this isn't even the top of the line model yet, but all of them have a 2.2 liter CRDI with 175 horses and about 430 Newton meters of torque. As for this, the GLS Plus model, it starts at 2,320,000 pesos. Now this has been Anton and Jess for Top Gear Philippines. If you want to see more new car previews, you can check out our playlist below and our launchpad videos to go along with it. Thanks for watching.